this is another question that comes up uh, pretty regularly in this class and sometimes I will see this question I'll see students um, thinking that um, normal microbiota do not cause disease but transient microbiota does substitute flora in there for microbiota like I said in class um, that's not true okay some normal microbiota can cause disease some transient flora can cause disease right so does transient flora cause disease problems yes so let me pull out and look at that so do this uh, answer this question I'm gonna go to ProMed Mail I showed you this in class promedmail.org um, and I'm gonna go to the search function here instead of looking at the bajillions of disease reports I'm gonna go search and I'm gonna search for a specific um, bacteria bacillus cereus bacillus cereus is a uh, one of the ones we use in lab it is not normally found on the human uh, part it's not normally it is not it is not part of the normal microbiota or normal flora it is if it is on you transient transient flora and I can guarantee you unless you wash your hands really well out of class um, you have a little bit of bacillus cereus on you today because we we worked with it Okay, so it is transiently on you. Trust me, it's going to go away. It's not going to be a problem. But can it cause a problem? Well, yeah, it depends on the conditions, uh, the person it's in, who it gets transmitted to. So let's search for Bacillus cereus and just see, hey, Jeff said that's not a normal microbiota. It's on us, and it's, so it's, it's there, it's there trust, transiently. You're just going to trust me. So I search that. So if I go to this search tab here, type in whatever I want here. So I just search Bacillus cereus, and woo-wee, look at that. Definitely causes problems, okay? Um, can cause bacteremia, which is uh, bacteria in the blood. Uh, let's actually look at that. I haven't seen this. Um, identified, I don't know, we linked to this. Uh, 23 cases. Oh, um, yeah. It, it kills babies. That's that's the definition of pro, uh, problems. That's awful. Um, so you can see that norm, um, uh, transient microbiota can cause problems. Um, and there you go. There's lots of examples of that. And sadly, here's one. And it's happening right now in England. Uh, in, uh, let's see, in Belgium, we got it in a daycare center. Uh, Bacillus cereus happens to come up a lot in... Um, in, 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 uh, ooh, look at that, flavored water. I love it. I hate flavored water. It's kind of pretentious and unnecessary. Um, but uh, it comes up sometimes in, with food poisoning. It, it is a cause of food poisoning. But it's not just, you, it's not just through food. I mean, probably this, these babies that are getting it, or this baby didn't get it through food poisoning. Um, could have been somebody had it on their skin. Uh, and they, uh, through direct contact or indirect contact with the baby, um, transferred enough onto the baby that uh, it overwhelmed the baby's defenses and caused disease and and, and killed the baby. Ugh. I actually didn't would have searched for something else if I'd known that what was going to happen. Anyway, so let's get back to answer this question. Does transient flora cause pro disease problems? Oh yes, but keep in mind. Not all transient flora causes disease problems. Bacillus cereus is not um, a real common cause of disease. It, it can cause disease, but many, many things can cause disease at low levels. Okay? Um, it depends on what you're, what you're talking about. Um, transient flora, remember, is as the word transient suggests. It just means it's bacteria, funguses, even viruses or protists that are on you, um, but not for very long. Okay, the normal microbiota and normal flora, if you will, is it, it, it is adapted to stick to you extremely well. If it wasn't, you would wash it off every night when you washed with soap. Okay, so that's the difference between them. Some transient flora can cause disease in, under the right conditions. Some normal, normal flora can cause disease under the right conditions. Okay, it's just a question of what sort of what should be there. That's normal microbiota. What shouldn't be there? Transient flora. So that's it.